There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Hi Oliver, your blood pressure, VP, normally varies throughout the day and night, as shown in the chart below. In general, a normal reading blood pressure is one that's below 120 80ths of a millimediates Hg. If your BP is consistently greater than 140 90ths of a millimeter Hg, then you have high blood pressure, or hypertension. A blood pressure of 130 70ths of a millimeter Hg is a one-off measurement means that, at that moment, your systolic, upper number, blood pressure, produced when your heart contracts, is 130 millimeters Hg and your diastolic, lower, blood pressure, when the heart rests between beats, is 70 mm Hg. The systolic reading is in the prehypertension range, while the diastolic reading is in the ideal range. When the two readings are in different ranges, the upper range is the one used, so this is a prehypertension reading. But when measured again, it might well have come down, so a one-off reading like this is not too much to worry about and could have resulted from anxiety at having your BP measured so-called white coat hypertension, having recently had a cup of coffee, or run upstairs, for example. You can see the BP classification ranges and download a chart here. Hi Oliver, your blood pressure, BP, normally varies throughout the day and night, as shown in the chart below. In general, a normal reading blood pressure is one that's below 120 80ths of a millimediates Hg. If your BP is consistently greater than 140 90ths of a millimeter Hg, then you have high blood pressure, or hypertension. A blood pressure of 130 70ths of a millimeter Hg is a one-off measurement means that, at that moment, your systolic, upper number, blood pressure, produced when your heart contracts, is 130 millimeters Hg, and your diastolic, lower, blood pressure, when the heart rests between beats is 70 millimeters hg the systolic reading is in the prehypertension range hypertension while the diastolic reading is in the ideal range when the two readings are in different ranges the upper range is the one used so this is a prehypertension reading but when measured again it might well have come down so a one-off reading like this is not too much to worry about and could have resulted from anxiety at having your bp measured so-called white coat hypertension having recently had a cup of coffee or run upstairs, for example. You can see the BP classification ranges and download a chart here. I see that here everyone has their answer for whether 13070 is a high or not blood pressure. Truth is this is not the place to ask. You should visit your doctor, do the tests and hear a professional opinion. Maybe it's nothing, maybe it's just a bad lifestyle, maybe it's a more serious issue. Only a doctor can tell that. I have problems with my cardiac system and used to have high blood pressure. I went to the doctor and at first I took medicine, but in my opinion, and from my experience, unless the problem is really serious, a long-term positive change can be achieved by changing the lifestyle, the diet, avoiding stress, exercising and taking omega-3. Fish oil, sea benefits, helps me maintain the good results Eva achieved. Since with modern day diet I can't really obtain enough omega-3. I get my daily optimal dose, 23 grams slash day, with supplements. I would advise everyone to do their research and test different fish oils. The one I like best if Intelligent Labs Omega-3, here in case you want to check it out, because of the high quality and the fact that unlike other subs it doesn't leave a fishy taste in my mouth. If you don't have a serious heart problem, a regular intake of Omega-3, through supplements or food, would help you regulate your cardiac system, and brain, in the long term. 13070 is not high according to the Mayo Clinic 1. 13070 is classified as prehypertension because the systolic number is between 120 and 139, even though the diastolic number is normal, less than 80. Prehypertension probably means high blood pressure will develop, and even though prehypertension is not technically the same as high blood pressure, it still increases the risk of heart attack, stroke and heart failure. Healthy blood pressure for most people is anything under 115.75. Footnotes 1, slash slash Mayo Clinic, org slash disease.